mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is gonna tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's gonna resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm gonna use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you wanna buy one, I, I'm not selling them, but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's gonna be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm gonna break it into those three categories and we're gonna look at what the general vibe is this month, what you, um, really want, or at least what you think you want, then what do you actually need? What's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month? And then what's the biggest challenge going to be? And then kind of just overall general advice. So let's get started. We're going to start with singles, then move on to couples, and then do, um, for those of you in complicated situations, whether that means you're polyamorous, on again, off again, you're just talking, but it's not committed. Um, we're gonna do those last because sometimes pieces of the single and pieces of the couples will resonate for its complicated situation. So it's not that I love you less, but that's the reason why I do that last. Single Libras, the overall vibe for your love life this month is that you need to ask for help from other people in regards to your love life. Okay, so help with what? Leo's also had something similar to this. Um, help with ending things, ending, you know, relationships that need to end, well, I mean, situationships or friendships with exes or even like mindsets and ways of thinking about things. Um, this might mean that you need to end a certain way of doing things. You know, maybe it's time to stop dating online if it's making you feel shitty instead of good. Um, but maybe you're having a hard time walking away from a past relationship or um, making and stopping doing the same mistakes that you always do when looking for a partner. For example, um, I know a person who is not a Libra moon, but is a very anxious person and basically every time meets a new person because of their anxiety, makes the same mistakes that they're very self-aware about but then like fucks up the opportunity every single time, even though they have the awareness, right? And so asking for help from other people on how to end what you need to end is important. And so when I'm asking about what is this in relation to specifically, they're saying whatever you think it's about, as soon as I mentioned this, like wherever your intuition went, is what it's going to be. And I think that's the problem sometimes in general readings is that it might be something, a different struggle for each individual single Libra moon, right? Or Libra, if you didn't follow instructions <laughs> in the beginning. But um, I mean, it'll still maybe be relevant and resonate a little bit, but it's gonna be most accurate for Libra moons. Anyway, point is, um, asking for help with this from other people, not necessarily, not like experts or anything like that, but like friends, um, family members, or, you know, colleagues that have, you've witnessed go through similar things, okay? So th that's kind of the overall vibe. Um, so what is it that you think you want in your love life this month? Change, but you're a little bit afraid of it. And so it's like, you know that you want things to be different, but you're afraid of things being different because even if something isn't perfect and it's not working exactly the way we want it to, we're comfortable with it. Like that's just our way. Maybe it's time to change, you know, the type of person that you usually go after and um, 
maybe that's the struggle, right? Maybe your type isn't working for you anymore, but you're afraid to change it. Like, oh my gosh, if I try to date somebody that looks completely different or, you know, has a completely different type of personality, like, will I even be into that? Will I be attracted to it physically? And it's hard to know if you're social distancing, right? And you're talking to somebody online. So that's a situation. But um, you shouldn't be afraid of the change, okay? You, You think you want change, but you're afraid. So what is it that you actually need? Well, you need to put your fucking phone down. That's what they're saying. Like your intuition is telling you this. And the issue is that all of this screen time, it's making you awkward and sad. It literally says awkward and sad, okay? And so ask talking to a friend instead of continuing to maybe go about however you're approaching dating or looking for a partner, or maybe you're not even doing that and you should start you know because we're going to change whatever our current situation is and i think that's why they're like whatever you're this is why it's going to be hard and in general reading that everybody's got a different thing right um but maybe you're avoiding dating or you've been afraid to start online dating and now i mean that makes the most reasonable sense if you're in quarantine get to know somebody through the phone and through text message or video chatting and um maybe it's time to ask a friend for help and like that often does this like how do you go about it how do you build a profile or um you know how which one which dating apps do you like best you know something like that so um moving on to what is going to be the best thing that happens in your love life this month well that depends on your choices So if you choose to follow the previous guidance, what happens? You could end up with somebody that is actually very helpful in your life, even if they don't turn into, you know, a long-term partner or a lover. Um, They have the potential maybe to do that, but that they end up to be very useful and helpful for you in your life. Um, Maybe down the road, they recommend, they say, oh, I know this person who's actually really great at A, B, and C, and then you get your dream job opportunity just because you talk to this person, right? Um, So there is value in it. So follow, follow the guidance that it gave you, okay? And then if you don't follow it, they're like, hey, what happens? Well, you're not gonna feel very confident this month or the next month or probably not even into the first First 21 days of June. That's very specific, but that's what they say. So, I mean, it's your choice, right? But the good news is you get a choice on how you want to handle your your energy this month in regards to love. So what is going to be the biggest challenge for you to feel really confident about your love life and what you're doing and what do you have time for and what's worth the effort? And, you know, even your self-esteem a little bit might be beaten down to a certain degree. Like, am I pretty and smart enough and quirky enough and, you know, a good enough conversationalist? Like, why are you feeling so damn insecure? (laughs) They're like, (laughs) they're making jokes. They're like, to give everyone else a chance. I mean, that is true. Libras are the best. I have a big, warm love spot for Libras. I want to fuck Scorpios a little bit more, but I want to love you more, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, what is the general advice? And they're just like, look, you're not crazy, okay? Um, this is a time to get super focused, though, on what it is that you want in your life in general. But what do you want for your love life? And I feel like many of the videos this month for love have been um, kind of coming back to the same overall theme. It must be something in astrology um, that this is the theme of self-focus and you know figuring out what do you want. Um, so if you have a hard time with that, in the description box below, there's a link to a page on my website called freebies. And you don't have to put in any information. I don't capture anything from you. Um, and it just, you just grab the worksheet and you do it and it makes your life better because that's the whole point of me doing these tarot readings. I literally get paid like $200 a year to make these videos max, okay? So that's what I'm saying, you know? It's not a trick, it's not a trap. (laughs) I just want you to attract the love and the life that you want, right? The more happy people walking around the world, the better world we live in. So moving on to couples. What's the love vibe? Same thing. A lot of you guys have had this. There was another sign that had it for like 
they're singles, they're couples, and they're complicated situations. Um, and this was the same thing for single Libras if you didn't watch that. So ask for help from other people in regards to what? Maybe this will be different for you. Um, it's like basically creating your own luck, you know? Um, so what does that mean specifically? Because that's almost like a riddle. And they're saying, you already know what that means. Asking for help from other people to create your own luck. It's almost like positioning yourself in order to get what you want. But what does that mean in regards to relationships? The first thing that pops in my mind, not in the intuitive part of my brain, so I'm not channeling this information like I often do in readings, but just like from a human perspective, is within my relationship, I might wanna put myself in the perfect position to receive whatever it is I want from my partner. Um, so a very Libra type of quality is to hint around at what you want, right? And then you might get disappointed that they're not picking up on the hints. And then you start to feel sad and disappointed and not appreciated because you don't know how they couldn't possibly have picked up on it, but they can't read your fucking mind. So put yourself in the position to receive what you want by straight up asking for it, right? Hey, I would feel super happy and special if when you went to the grocery store, you brought home flowers. That would just like make my day. It'd make me feel so loved. It's that simple, <laughs> okay? That's kind of what they're saying. So what is it that you think you want this month in your relationship? Empathy. You want your partner to see your side of a situation. But that's the whole thing about positioning yourself, right? You kind of have to tell them. You have to coach them in how to step into your shoes. How to, You have to be very, very clear with your words this month. What is it that you actually need in your relationship to put your fucking phone down? Okay, so this can play out a couple different ways depending on your situation. Maybe you live with your partner and you're both furloughed and you're both home. Um, you know, have that quality time, put your phone down, talk face to face without any distractions. That might work, right? Then they can fully step into, you know, your perspective and then you can ask for what you want and be pretty sure you're going to get it. Um, conversely, like you might be texting your partner all day and then it's like so many text messages, you, they get skimmed and not really fully absorbed, right? Or the, it's almost like the more that we talk about something, the less serious it becomes. Like, you know how people who yell a lot, then when something's seriously wrong or they're really angry, you can't tell the difference because they're always yelling. However, people who are super calm and cool and collected all of the time, um, when they raise their voice, everybody's like, <gasps> right? It's that kind of thing. So that's what you need. What is going to be the best thing that happens in your love life and relationship this month? That at the end of the day, despite any struggles, miscommunications, arguments, um, you know, whatever, that you want the same thing. And if you're able to focus on that and not on the little struggles, then things are going to go real smooth. But that's the good news. You know, at the end of the day, you want the same thing. It, do you both want to stay together? Cool. I mean, you both want that. So why are we arguing about, you know, trivial other things that can maybe lower the chances of us actually staying together? Um, what is the biggest challenge? And they're saying it's kind of kind of come out of nowhere. You're not going to feel it coming, but it's actually like quality togetherness time. And for some of you, you don't live together. And so it's like maybe you want to have a very consistent and specific routine of um, when you're going to FaceTime, you know, or um, like I said, you know, put that phone down and make sure that you're just talking face to face, no distractions, the quality, not the quantity. Um, and doing that consistently is very important. So moving on to complicated situations. What is your love vibe for the month? And they're saying you should really, so this is going to vary on an individual basis, 
But generally, you should be asking about your it's complicated situation. Um, to You should be asking your angels, your spirit guides for help and assistance right now. And so um, everybody might get messages a different way. Maybe you'll be shown signs. Maybe your angels will step in and comfort you if you're struggling. Um, maybe you'll just blurt something out out of nowhere and it ends up creating a situation that gets you everything that you want from this situation. It's gonna play out differently for everybody. But all you have to do in order to ask your angels for assistance is to literally think it with intention and feeling behind it. Can you please help me? You don't even have to know how you want them to help you. Just please help me. And they will. That's what they're there for. It's literally their job. Okay, so what is it that you think you want? Empathy. So this is similar to couples. Um, you want the other person or people involved in this situation to see things from your point of view. Um, what is it though that you actually need? Again, very similar to put your fucking phone down. So, you know, don't text so much. It's making you come across weird and it's making you come across as sad. And, you know, also, even if it's not like you're communicating too much um, or, you know, like you're Facebook stalking so much and it's like getting you in a mood, um, whatever the issue is, the phone is a problem because it has an effect on this. Like even if you're just reading news articles, something completely unrelated to this circumstance, you know, your complicated love situation, um, maybe you read a bunch of like really sad, you know, grim looking news stories and then you come to the situation to talk to the people or person involved and you know, your vibe is just off, okay? So you've got to do something different with your time and energy. And what is it they recommend? Something that's easy though, like not getting on a treadmill or like learning a brand new language. Something easy, but that isn't on your phone, okay? So um, what do you, or what's going to be the best thing that happens um, and they're like, well, actually, luck just kind of works in your favor. And that's extra the case if you ask your angels for help this month. Luck how? In seeing things out, like, so remember how you're like, hey, I really want everybody else to see things from my side. You're able to see the entire situation from the outside. And it kind of like makes your whole head go, oh, massive epiphanies and then everything just starts working out really really well for you in your love life okay so what's the biggest challenge your anxiety your fears your worries trying to plan ahead i mean you can't control shit you can't control other people um you can't control how other people feel even what happens next whether you live or die 10 minutes from now honestly well i mean to a certain degree you can but most of the time you can't okay so why do it Knock it off, but it's gonna be hard not to. Easier said than done, right? So general guidance is like, look, it's hard no matter what to deeply connect, to feel like emotionally attached 100% and um, like there's emotional intimacy between you and maybe even like the people in this situation, but maybe also even between your friends and maybe, you know, with siblings or parents, like all sorts of relationships. The vibe is weird for a couple of signs where like deep emotional attachment is a little bit of a struggle. Something must be up astrologically. Um, but, you know, I mean, the thing is, is this forces you then, even though we are asking for help from other people, to really kind of strengthen our own selves. Like we are infinitely powerful and smart and strong and even joyful. And we can do a lot of growth on our own if somebody just kind of pushes us along the right path. So if you need help getting pushed, I'll do it for you. Reading start at $10. There's a link in the description box below. And I love you so much. I will see you next month.